Hi, this is Brad. I'm going to tell you about an experience I had with Coupon Cabin and why I don't recommend them. Um, as you probably know, they're one of these cashback sites. Usually you'll click through a link, something like that. They give you a 2, 3, 4, 5% cashback, maybe, if it's eligible and they get paid. I had pretty good luck with them. And uh, about a week ago, they sent me a link that said, first eight people who click here will get a $100 off $100 purchase at homedepot.com. And so I clicked and I was one of the eight. And so, uh, so I won, congratulations. And um, so then anyway, I went to Home Depot and I purchased uh, this item here. You might be able to see this big box and uh, it's a lamp. And um, so I purchased the lamp. Let me get over in the sun so you can see me better. So I purchased the lamp, everything seemed fine. Uh, I thought, cool, you know, it was like $170. And then I checked at Coupon Cabin a couple days later and I couldn't get into my account. I, and I thought there was a problem with my password. So I said, hey, I can't get in, what's, what's the issue? And they said, um, and I contacted them, and then they say, you know, you've, been, you've had severe violations of our terms of service and your account has been closed and all uh, money that you receive cash back forfeited, right? So I'm asking them, what are, what, what's the violation? I have no idea what you're talking about. I clicked through the stupid link and they just said severe violations of terms and conditions, which I thought was kind of really ridiculous because, you know, I'm, I'm actually ex-law enforcement and it'd be like arresting somebody and saying uh, you're arrested for severe violations of the law. And then when they ask you, um, you refuse to tell them. So they refused to tell me, basically. So I tried to contact them on Facebook, and at first I was nice, and then later I was, I was a lot less nice because I wasn't getting answers out of these people. And, uh, and so they blocked me on Facebook. I mean, you know, I, I told them what happened. I don't think I was rude. I laid it out. And, and then I told them, um, ultimately, that, you know, if they didn't start working with me, I was going to leave some bad reviews, and I have, and they've been factual. And, uh, you know, I've had a real problem with them. So they blocked me from Facebook. Then when I was trying to communicate with them, they blocked me uh, from their website. So I could not correspond with them. And, again, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Well, as you can see, you know, got this great big bat package. Yeah, I'm getting ready to leave town here pretty soon. I've got to deal with taking this stupid thing back to Home Depot. So the, the short of it is that they closed my account. They reneged on the $100 offer. And, uh, and, and blocked me on Facebook, blocked my IP, just, you know, which I think is, in my mind, it's outrageous. And I think it's uncool and it's unprofessional. So um, finally, in the process of writing some of these complaints, I, I got a, a straight answer sort of out of them. It looks like I had two devices open at the same time. And, and apparently that's part of their terms and conditions. Um, in my mind, you don't just close somebody's account over something like that, you know. Uh, I was showing my girlfriend Coupon Cabin, and actually I was telling her to join, and I was trying to show her how cool it was before I had this nonsense uh, occur, and um, with all the account closures and that type of thing. But uh, I guess if you have two, two accounts open or two devices open, uh, it might give you some advantage. I think, I think what the real premise of it is they don't want you to have different accounts where you're clicking on different accounts trying to get a limited time offer, but I, I actually didn't do that. Uh, I had two accounts open, but but it wasn't two separate accounts where I'm trying to claim one for each account. But in any event, uh, you know, I think it's just a, a really poor way to treat people. I think just like closing their account, um, and you know, they didn't even tell me. They 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 you know, we went several days by, and finally I decided to check the coupon cabin site to see, you know, if they had credited the hundred dollars. And instead, I see it's closed. But there was no communication from the company. They let me go ahead and purchase this big box that I got to now mess with. And, and drive all the way out to Home Depot and uh, deal with this and uh, no, no, no contact whatsoever. So, you know, I just want to say I think Coupon Cabin is a very unprofessional company. Um, I kind of like generically what they're doing in terms of cash back. Uh, you know, you can, it, it's, I, and I've got some good offers from them and from others. But I look at the way that they treat people. I mean, what I recommended to them is, is if there's a problem, tell the person what the problem is and, and, and communicate and, and let someone know there is a problem so they don't order something and then have to deal with, with taking this item back and monkeying with it. I mean, if they contacted me right away, I still wouldn't be thrilled, you know, and I don't think they should have closed my account either. They've never had a problem with me. But at least, 
it give you a chance to, to not order something or to cancel that order before it gets shipped. Now we've wasted everybody's time and money, including mine. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up um, and it's obviously impromptu. I'm just standing in front of my house and this item just came. I'm gonna have to now, I fly out in the morning, but I got a monkey with taking this thing to Home Depot and it's a big pain in the neck. And you know, I don't appreciate how Coupon Cabin have the, handled the situation. Very, very unprofessional. And I know, you know, I've read the reviews. There's some good, there's some bad. Um, you'll see some of mine probably that are bad, you know. And I had a good experience until this happened. But just, you know, to say, oh, you had two devices open. Not only are we gonna invalidate the offer, but we're not gonna tell you about it. And then we're gonna close your account, even though you've been our customer for, I think, about two and a half years with no problem. We're just gonna shut it down without even telling you. Uh, I think that's nonsense, you know. I mean, I think the way you handle it is you, politely explain the situation to your customer in the hopes that they stay a customer and presuming that they didn't understand maybe the policy and, and then if you have repeat violations maybe you deal with that but uh, anyway i was really disappointed in these guys and uh, if you are looking at one of these rebate services i've used ebates too e-b-a-t-s and i've had so far knock on wood i've had a good experience there's a few others too but really um coupon cabin i would say uh, uh, i would stay clear of these guys if i were you uh, it, if long as long as you don't have a problem, I guess it's fine. But all of a sudden, you know, there's some little violation of terms. You, you could very easily have your account yanked without adequate explanation, and uh, and and your money, you know, confiscated or not awarded. And I think if you search on Google, you're going to find a number of similar circumstances. So I will wrap this up. I just want to do a quick review and a discussion of, of Coupon Cabin. Um, I'm not happy with them, as you can tell, and I want to make sure that. Uh, I get the word out there that there's some problems and um, I do recommend that you avoid it. And if you work for Coupon Cap'n, I do recommend that you change some of your policies because it ain't so cool the way you handle this situation. Anyway, that's all. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the remarks section here at YouTube. I certainly do thank you for your time. And uh, hey, good luck with the, with the ebates and rebates, but I would still clear of these guys. Bye-bye.